Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Here are some black Madeira fig trees that I started, I don't think last season, I think the season before that. And I had printed out some labels and put them on straws and it wasn't the best idea because they eventually just faded. So I wasn't sure what some of these were because I did have, uh, I believe I have a couple of UC Davis Golden Celeste. In fact, I'm, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that's what they are. But for the Black Madeira, my, re my recollection is I know I have Black Madeira that I can 100% verify uh, are the, is the strain that comes from UC Davis. And uh, I believe, I know that I had ordered some from Encanto Farms and have uh, a tree from that source and you can see here this one has a lot of uh, signs of the fig mosaic virus and it has the leaves that you get or that are associated with the black madeira you have this here sort of spade um we have this one and you can see the little figs little figlets starting on this. If you jump over to here, a lot healthier looking tree. You can see this leaf here, really no signs of fig mosaic virus. Is that sort of like spade leaf pattern. And the figs though are at the same stage just about as the one with the heavy signs of fig mosaic virus. And they really, I don't know of any really difference in the fig itself or the flavor. They were both very good figs and seem to be identical uh, as far as black Madeira goes. It's just that one is really susceptible to the fig mosaic virus and one's not. And I'm assuming this does have fig mosaic virus. It's ju it, it just, um, I don't know, is, is stronger. Another variation that I see in fig trees, if you look at this, uh, the leaf is a little bit thinner and lighter in color. And then if look at this one, every once in a while, or you, you also get this type of fig tree, which is just a very thick, leathery leaf, dark green. They're both in the same uh, potting mix or mix that I put together with the bark. It could be just the, the health of the cutting itself, the type of cutting. I think these look like they were all um, the end cuttings or terminal buds on them and you can see there the figs are the same same size here's another one sort of fuller Some uh, misshapen leaves here though, coming out some new leaves. Um, but no figs on this. Hmm. Just realized that. No figs on this one though. And here's another one that sort of has a combination of the light green, thinner leaf, and then this really dark thicker, nice and shiny fig leaf. And then this one here is sort of like the weakest of them all. And it seems like the fig mosaic virus is constricting, in my opinion, as I'm looking at this and observing it, the, it, its ability to expand around lignified wood. You can see here the new growth is actually thicker than the older lignified. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do with this is bury it 
up to here when I repot it and let this sprout roots. And that has no figs on it either. And this here is a golden Celeste. It has some figs on it. The largest figs I have are from this tree here, which I'm not certain what is. I, I, I'm thinking it might be, I don't know, LSU purple. Or um, I, I think I did was was able to save after I got rid of the the tree itself. I had saved an LSU gold. So not certain. I didn't look into this any further, but that's some of the largest figs that I have right now. So this is New England gardening. I just thought I'd show you real quick all the different growth variations you can you can get within the same variety. Thanks for watching.